I posted on Facebook that you could use an old smartphone to post pictures, so I thought I'd give it a try myself to see if what I'd said was true. You'll notice this phone says no service, and that's because it has no SIM card in it. I've actually got this in airplane mode, which means it doesn't transmit at all. So the first thing I have to do is to get the Wi-Fi working. I go into the Wi-Fi settings and choose my own signal. This is free, of course, because all I'm doing is connecting to my own router. It asks me for the password. It tells me that it's obtaining an IP address and then that it's connected. You can see that the Wi-Fi icon has now appeared by the airplane mode icon at the top right. I'm obviously going to have to turn off flight mode manually. So I'm going into my settings menu. You won't have to do this probably. I'll just check the Wi-Fi settings and yes, it says it's on. Note the emergency calls only. The point about what I'm doing is that this is a free cell phone with no contract or payment or even any connection to a phone company. OK, now we should be connected to the internet. Let's go to Facebook and get the smartphone app. Here's the applications menu and let's find the browser. No, I don't want Google. I'll touch the address bar and enter facebook.com. Oh look, it's inviting me to get the smartphone app already. Let's click that. Oh, it wants me to log into the Google Play Store. I don't really want to do that because it's nothing to do with Google. After pausing to search for a different place to download the Facebook app, I found a URL actually on the Facebook site, so I went there. Install now looks promising. Oh no, seriously, that takes me to Google too? At this point, I went off to look for ways to get the Facebook app without Google but then I figured that it was beyond the scope of this video, so I gave in and logged into my Google account. Um, no thank you, I want as little of my information as possible on Google servers, so I'll turn that off. Google applications are syncing data now? I didn't ask for that. Oh, it crashed? Great. Let's try again. Oh, this is different. I'm supposed to read about it? This application has access to the following, your personal information. Fine. It's a good thing I won't be putting personal information on this phone then. Wow, is there anything it doesn't need access to? Some of it makes sense actually. After all, it can't post photos unless it's allowed to use your camera. Your item will be downloaded. Ah, I notice there's a downloading icon in the top left, next to the mail icon. I'll pause the movie and save you from having to wait out the download process. Meanwhile, I discovered that if you pull down from the top, there's a proper progress bar you can watch right here. I notice I have 21,000 new emails too. Gee, maybe I don't want to read them here. Perhaps I should have been asked if I wanted that. I actually hate that Google linked this phone to my account. I should have made up a fake one to get the app and then deleted it. 
The downloading seems to be going faster now. It'll be done shortly. I hate how the screen keeps going off. That would drive me mad if I had to use this thing. OK, the download bar has gone. Maybe it's finished. Hey, it says installing now. That's promising. It still looks like the download icon, but maybe that applies to installing too. Hey, successfully installed Facebook. Neat. OK, what now? Ah, Facebook Blue. That's good. Setting up Facebook. Just a moment. Well, that's fine, but it's still long enough for the damn screen to blank itself. Alright, I'll log in. You might realise that I got pretty frustrated with the smartphone going black and repeatedly timing out. I left this episode in so that if you had similar problems, you'd know you weren't alone. Ah, that's better. Hey, Facebook! That looks like my news feed. Right. I'm finding a free cycle post from my news feed and clicking on the group name. OK, that didn't work well. I'm looking for Pedro's post so that I can comment on it. Maybe I'll go through my notifications. Here's where Wynne commented on the thing I'm after. Yes, I can type. I'll save you having to watch my finger skills. Let's try a photo. No photos found. I guess if this wasn't a wiped phone, I could choose a photo I'd taken earlier. Let's click the camera button and take a new photo. Click. Could not find or use any writable storage. Darn. I guess that means I'll have to put a micro SD card in it before I can take photos. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh well, I'll type something to that effect. Well, I hope you found this useful. To summarise, what I've been able to prove is that a used smartphone does not need to have service or a contract or anything to be used as a method of posting to Facebook. If you already have internet in your home with wireless and a Google and Facebook account, then you can just use an old smartphone for free. But if you want to take and post photos, then there will have to be a memory card in it.